Hi friends, do you think your jawbone is the only place where you can get your dental implant fixed? Have you ever, you or your parent or grandparent visited your dentist and they have told that you do not have adequate bone in the upper jaw to get a full fixed teeth set done? Then you probably have to look at these zygomatic implants. Why not regular implants? Regular implants can be done only if there is adequate bone in the upper jaw to support that implants. But uh, if there is a time lag between the removal of your teeth and your desire to get implants done, there is an air space in the upper jaw called the maxillary sinus. This air space gets larger and larger and the amount of jaw bone gets smaller and smaller. At one point of time, there is no bone remaining at all and this bone is not sufficient to support your dental regular implants. So what is a zygomatic implant? Zygoma is nothing but your cheek bone. It is a solid bone and it is a high density bone. This bone is used to support a long implant extending till your mouth and this implant can be used to support the upper denture or your teeth set. So what are the x-rays needed for your zygomatic implants? A regular OPG or an orthopantomogram and a CT scan is required to assess the amount and the quality of bone which is needed for your implantation. And whether it's done in the LA or GA, being a slightly bigger procedure than a regular dental implant procedure, it is mostly preferred to be done under general anesthesia in an operation theatre setting. So what is the procedure? Two to four regular implants are placed in the front portion of the upper jaw and two zygomatic implants connecting the cheekbone are placed in the back portion of your upper jaw and these implants are connected and the upper teeth set or the prosthesis is fabricated. So friends, if you do not have bone in your upper jaw, do not worry. You always have the option of zygomatic implants. Thank you.